We're gonna go slow first. We're gonna go this way. All right. We pull out the diagonal. It starts here. If I stop, I know I'm diagonal. I can see right now from my perspective. Right. And then if I gradually do this, I'm back this way a little bit, and then I'm that way. And I'm this way, yeah. and I'm a little yeah. bit that way. Yeah. But my yeah. elbow never goes up. Right. No. no. So the key is, right. so what students do, they always, their elbows go up. So you, you're doing lateral motion, and you are adjusting that way when you go to the highest note. Right. So, yeah, so, so let's you try it now. But let's see your right hand do it, so we can see what the right hand's doing. I can see the angle better. I'm going to... It's gonna be the same thing. Just right hand first. I'm gonna okay. see the angle. Oh, do it in slow mo, like bum, 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 bum. Angle your hand. Even though my hands are going right. diagonal, I'm still like a driver going around a curve. I'm still kind of got the controls yeah. in front of me. And that's another thing that students don't do, is their body doesn't go with them like this. See, I'm a little bit. It's a little bit. I put my thumb here. It doesn't matter. But also, by doing that, you can get a good, right, a little energy spurt. Yeah. You won't tell, teach the students that, because maybe they don't know what they're doing. But you know, you can get, get enormous power, not only by moving to the side, but having the arm. I see it exactly now. It is definitely diagonal. But you have to really kind of be conscious of it, because you're down here, and then what is gradual is that it, it drags behind. And if I make mistakes in here, I realize it's because yeah. this is Yeah, you can see if you did only so this, it would be nearly impossible, because you're pulling your hand away. Yeah, exactly. The natural thing is to go, your body goes with it, and your and your hand has to go here in order to get vertical you know, power into those notes. Because especially when you're doing the loud one, you need to get the dead weight mm. there, you know? Or whatever you're doing, if it's melodic, it's going to be that coming down like that. Right? It's going to go from triple black to... Mm -hmm. yeah, it's very good. Now, even if you play soft, when you play soft, it still wants to have that body behind it because you want the security of getting the notes. Now, look at my body is moving. I'm really behind my hands at all times. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, and then I'm here. It's sort of amazing how choreography works with that. Yeah, piano students almost have to do a silent little diagonal here, coming back to kind of this way, and then the left hand and the right do that thing. You can see what happens. It's like this to this mm -hmm. and this. Mm -hmm. You can practice it silently yeah, yeah, and moving and leaning. Right. I don't think it'd don't be think good not to play any keys, but just move your yeah practice on. You know, si on it's mime. It's the mime of the movements. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting blog-worthy subject. Because you know we discover this when we make no mistakes, we have to figure out why we're making the no mistakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think moving on the bench is very important. You have to be able to do this on either side. Right. Your weight, you're shifting your weight and weight transfer, and, then, and weight transfer here too. Because when you're here, you want to get the power. Right? How else am I going to get the power? It's always the last octave. Ninety-nine yeah. percent of students screw up in the last octave. Yeah, or the, you know, Down there, but much more so up mm -hmm. here. And I think it's because, uh oh, here comes the top of the mm -hmm. scale. Mm -hmm. Somehow, yeah. You know, but here too, because yes, because also because of fingering, right? There's a slight irregularity because you're going one, two, three, four. Here you're not doing one, two, three, mm -hmm. four. Here you're doing something different than you did here and here, right mm -hmm. in the middle. Mm -hmm. So that's another irregularity. Mm -hmm. to get used to. Mm -hmm. So you have to practice the bottom. There is my diagonal. Look at that. I'm really on top of things. It makes me very secure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's fantastic. Right, when you go 
going, let's say you're going. It's finger snapping. so that when you want to do fingertips soft, there's something left. So let's say you go. triplets, these are the triplets, you're going to snip the ends of your fingers, so you do this.